Hi guys, in this video I will show you how we can save a project of dog light in our computer and then load it with, uh, without a license. We don't need a license. Uh, we are going to do this for free. And the software that we are going to use is for free and is not virus. And uh, it's not a crack, it's very, very simple to use and for free. Okay, guys, what software we need, but before I will show you, let's check if I can save the project. I, I will press this button, say, and you can see, guys, that a license is required. I will press OK. How we can save this? Okay, guys, to save this, first you need to download this application. I will leave this link in the description. You will download it and you don't need to install nothing. Just download this file and execute it. Execute it and a window is open. This window. Let's see, I have two windows. I will open again. I'm going to open again. Is the correct because future is not future here, here is the moment. Open this, okay. To say, guys, easy. This, this is our sequence and names of the commands. Change it to X and say this. Copy this, sorry. Right click. Copy, go to program, and paste here. Control B, and set a name. The name is, in, in my case, is in Spanish, Iniciar AT. Then, enter, set frequency, frequency. In my case, in my case, is in Spanish and copy this and paste here then write in my case render focus turn on the light enter then copy this his sequence Copy the sequence. The last one. Turn off the light. In my case, in Spanish, is apagar foco. I'm going to copy his sequence. Copy. And paste here. Control B. And press save. I'm going to save it in the in my desktop I will create this folder this directory I will call this dot light project put a name write name test project in my case and press save success close this close dot light no say change because I don't have a license. I'm going to open the light. Press OK. Start with a blank project or open an existing dog light project. Open a key. Click here. Continue. Go to your desktop. Dog light projects and open this. As you can see, guys, now we have our sequences and commands here. I'm going to press AC. And we have, and I have, the correct commands. I'm going to connect with my receiver, LoRa module. Sorry, it's not connected. Yes, it's connected, but we need to need this connection. Okay, I need to configure this connection. This is the baud rate. Okay. Press play. 
And now I'm going to start the communication with my transmitter module that is connected, uh, is connected to a FTDI 232. A serial converter, USB serial converter, USB TTL. You can see here. This transmitter is connected to a LoRa module and this will send commands to our receiver, which is connected to a SP-62. I'm going to in it, this, in it with, with the transmitter, I'm going to send 80, and you can see is, is, this is sending me this command. Okay, the communication is started with the transmitter. The transmitter now need to be configured his frequency, the band. In my case, sorry guys, a detail. These LoRa modules, 998, you can't say the band. If you set the band by using 80 commands and you disconnect, you turn off this module and you connect again and you check the band by using by using an 80 command, you will see a default frequency. It's reset uh, from factory. It's not you is this is not a new band that you have set before. It's the default band. That's why here I am setting the frequency to this LoRa module because it's required. Okay, I'm going to set the frequency. Okay, and now I am ready to turn on the light. I'm going to send this command. You can see guys, the light is, is high, it's turned on. I'm going to turn off. The light is off and easily right? really easy. I'm going to stop the connection. I'm not going to say the change. I'm going to open the this project and you can see guys that I can open my project, start the connection. And again, I'm going to init 80, set the frequency, turn, turn off the light and turn off. Very easy guys. This application is available in GitHub. I will leave in the description. Now I'm going to do a four. I'm going to leave my star. I'm going four. I'm going to press here. I'm going to give a name, so what? I'm going to create four. And this is my four. My four is available in the description of this video guys. This is my GitHub username is Algraso Labs. You can follow me. Follow me, please. You will notify of new repositories. Very easy, guys. Basically, what we do, what we did, copy the name or write manually, and then copy your X sequence. For example, test and here copy your sequence, then say. Repeat the video if you have doubts. That's it guys. I hope this video was useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your like, thumbs up, and bye bye. Catch you later. Kudos.